Dun, 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 dun. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. New York Giants on HBO with Joe Shane and Brian Debo. It's a hard knock life. Dun, 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 dun. Bro, I've been waiting for the Giants to be on hard knocks for the longest. But here's the here's the the kicker though for this one oh it's the first time it's like oh off season it's like behind the scenes off season hard knocks it's like not the real hard knocks it's like a spinoff you know what i'm saying it's like it's not the original hard knocks it's not like training camp hard knocks so i guess all the footage is already filmed and they're just gonna have to like air it now they said i think like the air date is july 2nd um and i'm definitely gonna watch it um got that probably now it's gonna be on when i'm at work right or well, what days is, is it uh no, it's probably going to be Fridays and Saturdays, right? I don't even know what day of the week. July, whatever July 2nd is. But um, whatever. I'm just talk about it afterwards, I guess. And um, yeah, so we're going to see, you know, everything that happened with uh, the Saquon Barkley's trade, the, the, the Burns trade, or the signing, rather, the draft, you know, the, the neighbor's draft or whatever. So it's like, yeah, they're going to have everything that happened in the offseason. There are going to be episodes about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to think of how they could possibly do it. Because for training camp, they just do everything that happened at training camp, preseason, what's going on in the locker room, these guys' personal lives. The offseason, they probably do personal lives. And that's the thing, too. Some of the comments was killing me, bro, because they were, like, being, like, too accurate. They were like, oh, no way, um, uh, John Mayer freaking signed off on this. Like, it's true. It's like, I, like... <laughs> like I said, wow! When I saw, it. like I quoted wow on Twitter because it's like I like I, I would never see the Giants being on hard knocks, like if it was John Mayer's like call type, you know. But um, yeah, we are gonna see what goes on with it. It's gonna get get the Giants a lot of attention, depending on who watches it. Because there were those comments too. Oh, I'm not gonna watch it. Such and such. I'm a Giants fan. I'm gonna watch it. Maybe non Giants fans go. I don't know. I want to see what's up. I want to see what's up with this show in the spotlight. Um, yeah, this tells you we're getting closer. What are we in right now? We in the middle of May, so middle of May, up yep, June, July. Yeah, we right there, bro. The off season is always the worst, worst part as a football fan, bro. It's like, oh, like, what do we do now? Like, you know, at least for me, like, I just, I just, I just wish football and all that was just as long as like baseball and basketball. It's like every sport has its off season or well, some off seasons. Like, um, I don't think soccer has off season, right? Like soccer don't have it because it's just too international. Tennis don't have an off season, but yeah, just I, like I, I know how like ridiculous that sounds. Like you know they're human too; they need an off season. But um, yeah, bro, I just love football too much. And then you know, I guess the warm up is college football. They get a, a college football game coming back, bro. I know these previous athletes are like punching air, like Tim Tebow. I mean, not Tim Tebow; he probably all right. But like these college players who weren't making no money. I went to college. Oh, I'm busting my butt for USC. I'm busting my butt for Texas. I'm busting my butt for uh, for LSU or Ohio State or whatever, they, Oklahoma, whatever they went to. And yeah, oh, I'm gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna get kicked out and lose my scholarship if I accept. You know gifts from people and such and such and yo one of my favorite documents i got a lot of favorite documents the 30 for 30 the you both part one and part two the miami hurricanes look that up bro miami hurricanes who else was something involved bro the trojan well, i'm a usc trojans fan bro with a reggie bush where they took they just reinstated his heisman dog but um either way but yeah bro those documentaries hit because because there was some what was it the second one where they're talking about there was this guy miami dolphins or miami hurricanes where this guy was like helping them out like paying their like mother's rent and all that stuff so they can focus on football and all that but they felt like that guy was like a, a, a like a, a, a vulture type like i don't know but the, the players loved him because he was like he was the one taking care of my mother this and the other if y'all get a donation to the school y'all can accept that y'all can accept a, a five hundred thousand donation to the school but i can't accept money to help my life such and such when i play for the school and bro it's just like the crookedness bro they kind of fixing it but it got nil deals and all that if you somebody i don't know who watches me listen if you play i, I live in new jersey if you play for Rutgers, if you play for what other like i don't even know what new york if you play for syracuse if you play for whoever or whoever watches me around the world if you in college if you a college athlete do your best i'm rooting for you if you especially if you subscribe to me i'm rooting for you get those nil deals bro Get those nil deals. If you become popular enough, oh, your local diner, your local car, whatever. I know somebody, oh, yeah, Mercedes hooked you up with a, a car. All you got to do is, oh, yeah, such and such. You know, whatever sport you play. See what they're doing for Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark make it more than WNBA players because of what she did in college. So, yeah, that's just my gym right there for y'all. And this is uh, yeah, me talking about the Giants being on Hard Knocks, the spinoff. But um, I kind of like it better because I wouldn't want the Giants to have that type of 
uh, attention during training camp and stuff, bro. Training camp is already tough already, especially with, with the Giants fans, you know? Oh, yeah, such and such. Like, bro, they take that shit way too seriously. Like, it's it's practice. It's practice. It's not going to look perfect. And even if it does, it's like two heads. If, if practice looks perfect, oh, that's practice. Yeah, oh, it's preseason. See how they do in a regular game. If they look trash in practice, if they go 0-4 in the preseason, everybody going to panic. See, uh, 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 oh my, like, like, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, just be normal. Just let them play, dog. Just let them play. But whatever, fans going to be fans. You know, ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just a content creator. I'm going to put my opinion out there. People cry about it, whatever. I'm, I'm open to all opinions and all that stuff, but motherfuckers just be jumping out the window, dog. They they really be jumping out. And some people don't even care like that, if that makes sense. Like, some people just jump out the window just because it's like, oh, just, I don't know. Just people just aren't normal about stuff. Like, oh, my, I don't even want to get into it. But, yeah, Giants going to be on Hard Knocks. You tell me your thoughts, and I'm going to have videos on it. I'm going to watch every episode. All right. Thank you. Like, subscribe, and share. The season's almost here. Till next time. Jersey.